Hi, this is John Keston of audiocookbook.org. If you're not familiar with my work, one of the things I often do is use chaos, chance, or randomness as a foundation for composing and for sound design. I really enjoy this technique in particular when applied to sound synthesis. Not all synthesizers are easily randomized and many produce better results than others. FM synthesizers, for example, are really good at this. And I've done a lot of work with the Yamaha TX81Z. And, as it turns out, the Novation Circuit yields some of the best sounding randomized patches I've ever heard. So I thought I'd share with you how I've gone about randomizing patches on the circuit and let you hear some of the results. Basically, what I've done is I've modded the circuit editor with a drop-down menu uh, that has options for randomizing all the parameters or particular groups of parameters. Uh, these these uh, group of parameters include um, the oscillator section, LFO section, the mod matrix, the mixer section, the envelopes, the filter, and the effects. In other words, the distortion and chorus. I didn't include the EQ in that. Um, I have not included the macro controls in any of this. Um, and the voice controls I left out as well. Now I may change my mind and add those later, um, or at least macro controls I think could uh, do some pretty interesting things. So all I have to do is choose an option from this drop-down. If I choose Randomize All, you'll see all of the knobs in the Synth Engine Control, everything in the Mod Matrix. This includes all 20 Mod Matrix slots. The Mixer Section, the Envelopes, the Filter, Distortion, of course, have all been manipulated. So what does it sound like? Well, I don't know until I hear it either. So I'm going to play a little bit here. And in this case, we ended up with a very percussive kind of sound. Uh, often these sound different at different octaves. But let's try again. We'll randomize all and see what comes up next. So here we got, we've got a very distorted kind of uh, sustaining sort of sound. Um, I might apply a few tweaks to these and then get something that's, that's usable um, for some sort of effect. For example, I could add some release to the amplitude envelope. And of course, this is using a lot of the uh, sample rate distortion that got randomly uh, um, selected there. So let's try again. Anytime you randomize a synthesizer, you're going to end up with lots of laser sounds. But who can have too many laser sounds? One thing I might do again with something like this is add a lot of release to the uh, amplitude envelope. Um, it's going to be the chorus that's creating most of that laser effect. So without the chorus. We hear more of a noise sound, which I could reduce the amount of noise in. And we could start hearing what's happening. With oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. As I mentioned, there are ways to randomize groups of sections. So let's say we start with initializing the current patch. And then from the initialized patch, I'll try initializing just the mod matrix. What's that going to do? Randomizing all 20 modulation slots. You never know what's going to happen just by randomizing the mod matrix. Let's try it again.
a time even more. Now, of course, the LFO is still at the default level. So if I randomize the LFO as well, and so the LFO has been randomized, and we hear some lower frequencies and different waveforms and so on in there. That's time I hit the envelopes and you can hear that the sound obviously got quieter because the envelope has a different shape. All right, well, that's a few examples of what happens when we randomize this. I'll play some other of my favorites and uh, you can have a listen at those. <laughs>